Hi! Here are 10 Runelite plugins I feel many people don't know about that make my life easier. Hey bro, you wanna meet at... Jaltivas? Nah bro, I gotta go to... Jalustrafos for a clue. After that, let me head to... Jaldrakt... To switch books. These can be pretty difficult teleports to remember, and if you click the wrong one, you waste a charge. Use the Easy Teleports plugin to rename all of these to something easy. Speaking of charges... Have you ever been halfway through a raid, or busy killing gnomes, and your trident has pooped out? Or maybe your skirt has broken? Item Charges Improved makes it so you know how charged your stuff is. This is also very nice for skillers to know how much compost you have, or if you're doing clues to know how many teleports you have on everything. We're all familiar with this handy dandy buff bar. I'm constantly looking at it to see my stats and other useful information. Because I'm constantly looking at it, it's nice to have time tracking reminders enabled. I can toggle all the things I'm interested in and to know when they're ready. For me, I like to do Hespori, Herb Runs, and Birdhouses. Speaking of birdhouses, this has happened to me way too much. Using birdhouse overlay is a super easy solution. It color codes the house to let me know if I put my seed in it. Maybe I had a friend that wants to do winter tot. I know that I need to wear warm clothing, I just don't know what counts as that. I could spend my time looking it up, or I could just type this. And now I can select the most fashionable warm clothing from my bank. Oh no! A Charlie step again! Thanks, Charlie. Maybe I want to use a crossbow somewhere and look at all my ammo options? I could use this to organize myself for a training session. This just starts it. You can add more to it if you want. Maybe I want a hammer in the construction tab. Now that it's made, I just right-click the hammer. We can see it's already in my farm tab, because I like to combine birdhouse with farming, so I just type a comma and add it. So it can easily be in multiple layouts. I can also remove items if I don't want them there. All of this is done through the bank tag generation plugin. All you're going to do is select your own command. For me, I use pen, and then I just type two colons, pen, and then whatever I want to add. I've never been able to get the drops command to work. If you know how to do this, please let me know. The wiki has thousands of categories to pull from, so you can search the wiki for any category you're curious about. Sometimes I just want to chill with some AFK Slayer. After a while, they stop attacking me, though. The NPC Aggression Timer shows how long they'll be aggressive to me and exactly where I need to run for them to gain aggression again. There are options to hide it while you're not in combat, or only show it on a Slayer task if you don't want these yellow lines following you everywhere around the game. Aggression in RuneScape is very odd. We can see here I only have to move one square, and it puts me over the line, and the aggression is reset. Speaking of PVM, let's go to everyone's favorite mid-level boss, Barrows. It's 2023. I don't have time to click on two doors to see if I can enter them. Barrow's door highlight shows me all the available ones I can go through. This is also nice with the lockpick, because I can quickly see which door to bypass so that I only have to use it on one set of doors. I'm rich. As an iron, I have issues with keeping too many items. Because what if I will use that Dragon Two-Hander in the future? Turn this plugin on, and it gives you a color code for what type of clue they are used for, so you know if you should keep them. I'd like more bank space, but I can only spend so much gold on my bank. There has to be a better solution. The Wasted Bank Space plugin gives me this neato little symbols on every item the bank that I can store somewhere else. It sure is a lot of fun to run through this maze. 
Using the Shortest Path plugin, it can tell me directly where to go. You can customize this so it can show you the tiles or just a line, and you can add which transport options are available to you and your account. Let's say I got the clue step taking me to the edge of the Isle of Souls. It tells me to run to this fairy ring, put in this code, and run to the spot selected. Once you get to your destination, the line just poops. You know the dumb clue that makes you wander the swamp for the desert treasure boss? Easy peasy done. I wanted to include this one. I don't think it's a plugin, it's just a default feature of Runelight that not a lot of people are aware of. If you have a clue step you get sometimes that you don't always remember, you can add a note to it. Take this mire ditch one for example, sometimes I don't remember the best way to get to this clue, so I can add a note uh, with a quick rundown of how to get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it helped you out at all, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. I'm always looking for neat little plugins. If you know of any cool ones, please let me know.